mistakes did you make when it came to financial planning? I made them all. Uh, I don't think there was a mistake that I didn't make. You know, I, I burned through money, uh, I think, faster than anybody when I first got it because I didn't understand anything about it. You know, nobody explained to me how taxes work when I first started to make money. Nobody explained to me that I needed an LLC and I needed a corporation and I needed something to funnel this money through and that these companies should pay myself. I didn't understand it. So everything came to me and I spent it as if it was going to come in forever because that's the mental understanding that you have when you never had. I was a product of my environment. So all of the mistakes that I made and all of the damage that I did to the younger version of myself was honestly done to prepare me for this older, much more mature and smarter version. If you don't make those mistakes or if you're not aware of the damage that these mistakes could, can really do, then you're not living with the understanding of what could. Sometimes it takes the worst to happen to put you in a position to go, no, never again. God, if I get one more chance, I promise you I will take it serious. I promise you I will do the things that I was supposed to do. And those moments came when I was 21, 22 years old. And I, I'm so thankful for those moments because they forced me to put myself around people that didn't have those experiences but had the knowledge to keep me from experiencing it again. Now what I'm doing, I'm taking all the information that I have and I'm going to the younger generation that's full of people that were just like me when I was that age that don't know. And my goal is to educate and make them understand so they don't end up in the same position that I ended up back then. Because we didn't have the opportunities to be informed. And the people that tried to inform us couldn't relate to where I came from. What's good? It's Timeless Rod with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own your own shit. Now, before we get into this video, man, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Timeless Rock Music, man. And make sure you go ahead and share this video with anybody who can relate and need this information. In this clip, we got Kevin Hart talking about why he believed being broke taught him his biggest lesson. And man, Kevin Hart is speaking so much facts in this video, man, where we come from, a lot of us don't have any financial literacy, any financial knowledge in any type of way. And when you come up, when you just work jobs, regular jobs, that the income has already been tax and you file for a refund at the end of the year that's all you really know and when you're an entrepreneur a lot of people sometimes forget that the income you're getting is not even taxed yet so when you're getting this money and it's coming in a large amount you're kind of looking at it as play money and you're just like okay well the money came in just like a regular job it's already taxed you're just thinking that in that sense and you're just spending the money and that's how a lot of people get caught up with taxes in terms of them spending all their money and when it comes time the IRS looking for their money and you don't have it no more how you gonna pay it that's why we always speak about it on this channel minute to start becoming aware of your finances start to understand things start looking up simple things such as financial literacy you'll start learning little details and videos on youtube you got google all types of stuff and it all starts somewhere and i spoke on this in another video as well man when you start to learn things about finances you kind of look at things differently you look at money differently you look at the whole world differently that's why i always recommend people to read one of the books i read it's called rich dad poor dad a lot of y'all probably already heard about it but man if you haven't read it yet man make sure you go ahead and read that book and if you have read it man make sure you leave a comment down below man let me know your thoughts on the book let me know what you learned from the book and try to share some knowledge with everybody else in the comments and also man during the come up man don't be afraid to ask questions you got to ask people who've been in certain positions that know something about money and of course it's hard to ask certain people questions because so much of the world has come from the same world of just working a nine to five getting a paycheck the money's already been taxed and they're just good to where they don't have any type of insight at all on how this works now obviously i'm not no tax advisor i'm not a financial advisor so any information i could personally give is subjective but it is some information that i could give but hey man i'm gonna go ahead and leave that video on that note man y'all go ahead and leave a like on the video if y'all fucking with what i'm talking about and y'all agree with what i'm talking about and also leave a comment let me know your thoughts on the video and let me know what your thoughts is on the topic and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and I'm out of here, man. I ain't never getting too comfortable. I got trust issues from the past that ain't never last. I ain't gave up on love, but I got a cold heart with a phone full of dust. But they ain't good enough. I done tried to do the thought shit. But that ain't for me, baby. I guess I like locks on wrist. And I like flying around the world with a lady I can fuck right.